Okay, so we're talking with our neighbor Troy about this chicken tractor that he built and he made some modifications to it. Troy, why don't you tell us what you did? Sure. So this is the old design that is eight by four. I went eight by eight with it simply because I wanted it high enough the chickens could actually roost under it. Also the structure of the two by fours underneath, when I pick it up, that gives it more internal strength so it doesn't go kitty wampus. So I can just pick it up. Now, nice. put a four by four in the back and these are replacement tires for a lawnmower. So instead of being the type you have to put air in and they rot, these were, and they're usually about 40 bucks, these were family farm and home like 15 bucks each. Nice. So how about how heavy is this, Troy? You don't seem to have any trouble moving it. Um, whole structure is probably about 220, 230. Oh, so it's a workout to move it. Yeah, but, but it goes backwards because of the fulcrum here. So I can pick it up and push oh, it back yeah. with my weight. Yeah, I wasn't so picturing that. Back. Come on, you gotta move. I'm really intrigued with this feed system you got, too. Push, 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 push. Come, on. Come on, you gotta move. <laughs> This is another modification. These are greenhouse panels. That way, if it rains really hard, my grain doesn't get yeah. doesn't get anything in it. So then, this is a waterer here. This is a water. It's got the two nipples at the bottom. And my eventual plan is, I'm going to make it so I have a piece of wood that runs this way, so when it rains hard, it'll refill. Oh, that's amazing. Nicely done. Now, right now, it's heavier because this is the equivalency of about eight gallons of water. So that's more, but if I pick it up like this, I can just slide it up. She's not oh, gonna move. Yeah, Come on. <laughs> she's comfy. And that way I can move it two to three feet every day, and they keep mowing the grass down and eating the bugs around the garden. Nice. And so he's got it situated right by right by his garden, so probably circling around that area. Well, and also I circle around the beehive because a lot of stuff in the ground isn't friendly to the bees, but the chickens will eat them. Nice. Nice. Uh, thanks for. The chickens leave each other alone. Now, another thing I did is different if you back here. When it's really hot out, I've got a vent. And I can just. Yeah. It's open. When it's not, I can close it. The original design had two nests. I utilize the space up here as a double. So they can sit up here and lay eggs, and they can lay here and here. This is a separate piece. Don't peck me. She's, she's, <laughs> she's out here because she's not friendly. You can pull this right out and clean it, and then you just take a hoe and take anything on the inside and pull it out. Oh, nice. That makes cleaning really easy, too. Oh, this is beautiful. Well done. The other design, also the original, was two by two. Well, the structure was not sound enough. So the bottom is two by fours, and this is actually a four by four. That takes all the stress when you pick it up, yeah. and it won't break. Yeah, nice. Watch your tail. Oh, thanks for showing us around this, Troy. This is awesome. And maybe later on we can have Troy talk to us about his uh, honeybees. That's kind of a new thing for him, too. If you want to stop by the next couple of days, I've got five more dividers to put in there. And in the morning, you can film them. Those are from Saskatchewan, and they're vermite resistant, so they're a lot quieter bees. Nice. We can open right up. You can film right down in there. Cool. We'll have to talk about that next time. Thanks, Troy.